Many people view Yunnan as a paradise. The majestic mountains, the endless clouds, the cascading rivers. Hello, hello, hello. Yunnan is prone to many natural disasters, especially flooding. And for the last few days, I've been on an adventure trying to uncover what's going on to prevent all of these things from happening. It's been absolutely eye-opening and my journey has ended here. Literally a village on top of a rock. This is one of the most spectacular places I've ever been. So let me rewind a little bit and show you guys how I got here. It's quite the story. Good morning, everybody. Today I'm here in Kuming at the China South Asian Expo. So many stalls here, so much going on. A little robot dog. This place is absolutely gigantic. There's so many different halls and they're just filled with loads of different things. You can spend a lot of time here wandering around. And here we are now in the new energy hall. The whole lights have changed, the whole vibe. It's very futuristic. And we've got all of these mascots. Look at this one. Ni hao. Ni jiao shu ming zhe. Hua xiao dian. You with these guys? Oh, hello. This is Guan. He warmly welcomes me into the booth, introducing me to the China Hua Dian and their company Ethos. We have a lot of new energy power plants help the ordinary people. He was really enthusiastic and full of information, introducing all sorts of things, including this hydro generator from over 100 years ago, belonging to China's first hydropower station, Shulongba Hydropower Station. We just left one, and the only one still can produce electricity now. It proves the Huadian people how we can fix and treat the machine just like our family member. He showed me different projects that Huadian had completed across the world, Actually, the world is a big village because we know if we have the power, we have the electricity, we can do a lot of things. I described how Wadian focus on helping the ordinary people improve their lives. So it's great they have all of these models that you can actually kind of see the scale. And this one, they have hydropower stations, they have wind farms and solar energy, like all together. So I guess you might be uh, interested in the Li Yuan hydropower station. It's also nearby the mystery Shangri-La. If you have time, can you, you know, go with us? Or, uh, yeah, You're because we, go there, so yeah, we got the tickets. Oh, I would absolutely love to. <laughs> okay. Hey, yeah, that's nice good. coincidence meeting you today, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's called an adventure. Okay, <laughs> let's go to the winter. <laughs> And just before leaving, Guan had a little gift for me. Yeah, here is a small model about uh, this machine. How cool is that? Yeah, check it out. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, here. it's a pencil sharpener. Yes. <laughs> okay, smart man. That's so cool. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, and we set you. off on our way to Lijiang. From the golden dance of the Gaia, I've been cold in my life, I've been for the ride. Arriving in Lijiang, we grabbed some local specialities and went to sleep early as a long drive awaited in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So we left Lijiang a couple hours ago and we're just driving literally up, up, up through the mountains, windy roads. Let's keep going. And after many hours of driving, we have finally arrived here at the hydropower station. And we're standing here, right on the dam. And what a beautiful place Yunnan is. The mountains are just so gigantic. And the clouds have like so much character to them. So the way that these hydroelectric power stations work is that they're on a river and then you stop the water. You only let all of the water go through a little small tube. And through that, the water pushes through with a lot of pressure, a lot of force, and it's able to spin turbines, run a generator, and then that makes electricity. Talking to Guan, he explained to me how hydroelectric power stations like this one are able to prevent flash floods. The dam's reservoir stores excess rainwater during heavy storms, reducing the immediate flow downstream. And afterwards, the station can control the water flow, preventing sudden surges that can be devastating to villages downstream. 
and we've come down here to below the dam and this is the generator room. Look, we've got the four generators here. And in just one day can generate enough power for the annual needs of 20,000 homes. I went downstairs to check the operational status of the auxiliary equipment of the engine unit. And I also got to see the hydro turbine rotating. Guan also had something else to show me. The company were going to release some rare fish that they had bred back into the water. So we've just arrived here and they're actually about to release some fish into the water. So let's go and see what this is about. And why? I'm not sure why. <laughs> we raise them because we want to protect the environment. Also, these fish are the rare species in this river. Okay. We don't want to, you know, uh, our generations so okay, can see them. So we want the clean new energy, but we also want the wild creature still can live here. Mm. So we invite the people, local people here, and they can release the fish in the river. Okay. Let the fish go to that water. Grow little babies. Mm. Enjoy the beautiful Yunnan water. Yes. <laughs> We got back in the car as Juan wanted to show me how life in the villages had drastically improved since the power plant became operational. So this afternoon we've come down river to see how the villages have been affected along the Jingsha River. And this, Shi Cheng, is a very special village. It is literally perched atop of this rock down below is the Jingsha River, and the whole way around are these gigantic mountains. Gigantic! Wow. Even these days, there's still no road right down to the village, obviously because it's literally on a rock. But imagine the olden days. Wow, puppy! Hello! Please! Oh, come here! Oh. Imagine the old days in the Tang Dynasty building this village. Unbelievable! Hello! What a little kitty. How cool is this? You literally walk in and the rock, the stone is like overhanging. Wow, what an entrance. And after visiting the power station, it's really obvious what a significant change it has made to the villagers' lives here. The hydropower station can help regulate the water flow in the middle section of the Jingsha River. It's a real benefit, especially to these people. And of course, supplying all of these villages with all of their electric needs. When you look at the mountains, it's almost like there's white snakes crawling up the mountain. But actually, these are all new roads that China Huadian helped build so that local people are connected with their communities and with their area and can go to the city. All of these things that we take for granted living in cities. After walking around and exploring the village, I met an 89-year-old lady that has lived here her entire life. She explained how, in times before, the floods would be devastating to everyone living in the village. Wow. He said that the air is so good, and the air, everything is so good. I've had an absolutely incredible journey here in Yunnan. The things that China Huadian are doing are absolutely incredible. Providing energy, providing jobs, security, people don't have to fear the floods anymore. Just everything all together. They also help build many of the roads here, which is fantastic, as this is an incredible place that I'm sure that many people would love to come and visit. And that is a vital source of income for the locals here. I can't wait to come back. I just feel that Yunnan is such a magical place. The whole scale of this project is absolutely gigantic and it's improved so many people's lives in this area. This journey has not just been about kilowatt hours, it's about changing people's lives. And I'm so happy that I was able to come and document it. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Bye-bye.